So, Arya Bhatta gave a value which is close to 4 decimal places which is uh, enough for all practical purposes. But then as we see in the history, so little later uh, almost uh, say 1000 years later you find a very remarkable result which has been presented by the Kerala mathematicians and the value which they give is correct to 11 decimal places. So, which is almost impossible by any kind of technique that was known around that period unless you had a very powerful way of computing this pi. So, this polygon doubling method it is too difficult to in order to extend to that kind of a value. So, the verse basically goes like this, so which is ascribed to Madhava. So, it presents the value of pi again as a ratio, this verse is uh, presented in a text called Kriyakramakari which is a commentary to Leelavati's of Bhaskara and it is authored by Shankara Varyar. So, here he says Madhavacharyaha punaha atopi asanna tamam paridhi sankhyam uktavan having stated that he quotes this verse vibuddha netra gajahi huta asana triguna veda bhavarana bahavaha nava nikharva mite vriti vistare paridhimanam idam jagadur buddhaha idam buddhaha paridhimanam jagaduhu. So, this is how the verse concludes. So, what do we understand from this? So, this is stated to be the measure of the circumference paridhimanam buddhaha jagaduhu means wise people say. So, wise people say, so since it ends this way, see madhavacharya aha and he says buddhaha jaguhu, so one does not know whether it was even present before madhava, but definitely we do not have uh, any clue uh, to push it further back, but uh, this goes like this, see vibuddha netra. So, all the numbers that we find here, the it represents uh, the numbers in Bhuta Sankhya which I was mentioning to you earlier. So, this Vibuddha is Devas 33, Netra is 2, Gaja is 8, Ahi is again 8, then we have the word Hutashana, Hutashana is fire which is 3 which has to do with Tretagni and so on, 3, 3 is 3, Guna, Guna is Sattarajastama again 3, so Veda is 4. So, it goes like this. So, we have this huge number in the numerator and Nava Nikarva Mite Vritti Vistare. See, Nava Nikarva is 9 into 10 to the power of 11 Vritti Vistara. Vritti Vistara is diameter. This is stated to be the Paridhi. Now, one uh, wants to know as to how Madhava could have arrived at this accurate value of pi. So, this is almost impossible unless you have a very powerful way of computing. And uh, we did not have uh, sophisticated computational device in those place days. See today I mean you can run a computer which can keep on doing and uh, there are special devices which have been exclusively uh, constructed for calculating pi to trillions of places by Japanese. Anyway that is a different story. Madhava what he seems to have done is, so he seems to have arrived at the infinite series for pi. So, the verse goes like this Vyase varidhi nihate, rupa hrite, vyasa sagar abhihate, trisharadi vishama sankhya bhaktam, rinam svam prithakramat kuriyat. So, when I offer courses in mathematics, I tell the students that they should uh, know this interesting verse which has been presented by Madhava for giving the infinite series for pi. How does this verse give the series? He says Vyase Varidhi Nihate, Vyasa is diameter, Varidhi is ocean. So, ocean represents number 4 in Bhuta Sankhya, Varidhi Nihate, then he says Rupa Hrite, see Rupa Hrita means Rupa is 1, Hrite you have to divide by 1, first term, so 4 d divided by 1. Then successively you have to keep 4D in the numerator Vyasa Sagara Bhihate. So, what are the successive divisors? 3 Sharadi, 3 is 3, Shara is 5, 
त्रिशरादि विषम संख्या विषम संख्या इज ऑड नंबर्स भक्तम भक्तम मीन्स यू हैव टू डिवाइड सो ही एसेंशियली टेल्स यू दैट द फर्स्ट टर्म हैज डिनोमिनेटर वन सेकेंड इज थ्री थर्ड इज फाइव एंड ऑल दी ऑड नंबर्स फ्रॉम द सक्सेसिव डिनोमिनेटर्स फॉर द सेम न्यूमरेटर फोर डी सो वॉट डज इट अमाउंट टू सो फोर टाइम्स डी इन टू वन माइनस वन बाई थ्री प्लस वन बाई फाइव हाउ डू गेट दिस प्लस माइनस सो ही सेज ऋणम स्वम सी ऋणम इज माइनस स्वम इज एडिशन पृथक क्रमात कुरियात सीक्वेंशली हैव टू कीप डूइंग दिस सी वंस यू डू दिस सो यू विल गेट दिस इन्फिनिट सीरीज दैट इट इज एन इन्फिनिट सीरीज इज समथिंग विच इज क्लियरली नोटेड इन दिस वर्स बिकॉज ही डजन टर्मिनेट इट ही सेज यू हैव टू कीप डिवाइडिंग बाई ऑल द ऑड नंबर्स सो इज अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सीरीज इन मैथमेटिक्स वंस दिस सीरीज वॉज नोन इन यूरोप सो द अमाउंट ऑफ शवर दैट द फाउंडर रिसीव is something which one has to look into the history uh, let me just tell you one more thing about the series so this series is a very 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 slowly converging series excruciatingly slowly converging series as you can see plus minus means so, so you have this value as the final value so then uh, you keep alternating see as you keep alternating you keep coming closer 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 but how many terms you have to compute in order to come to the exact value turns out to be millions If you use this series even to get the value correct to four decimal places, so you have to compute almost a, a million terms in this. So this is impossible, humanly impossible. So these people have turned this series into a fast convergent series. That is a very interesting technique which these people have employed. And once you employ this particular technique of uh, turning the series into a different one, then even if you compute some fifty terms. so you will be able to see to it that you get very high values of accuracies so that is something which is remarkable which has been done by kerala mathematicians